slightly cooler than today. We did make it to around 50 degrees in Colorado Springs today, but it will be just a few degrees cooler tomorrow. Uh, we'll still hit the 50 degree mark across parts of La Junta tomorrow afternoon, about 49 degrees there in Lamar and 46 here in Colorado Springs, just above freezing in the San Luis Valley. A couple different systems are uh, working towards the state of Colorado that are going to provide the focus for some high elevation mountain snow uh, by Friday and Saturday and then eventually bringing a front through southern Colorado by Sunday. So uh, that system right now you'll notice is bringing some uh, rain across the desert southwest and the Pacific Northwest. We've got more moisture moving on shore there across parts of the Oregon coast. That area of low pressure will be the key player that's going to really dive across northern California over the next 24 hours and start to swing ashore, bringing that of moisture from the Pacific and giving us that mountain snow uh, for the next couple of days and then uh, giving us the chance for snow by Sunday. So without further ado, this is how things kind of shake out. You'll notice we have the uh, stationary front right across I-25. So this is going to mean a lot of the cold air will stay towards the mountains and the more milder air will stay across I-25 in the eastern plains for Friday and for Saturday. We keep dry at the surface and then snow chances will start to increase across the mountains beginning Friday afternoon and Friday evening. It's going to come in several waves passing snow showers for some of our mountains uh, for really Friday and Saturday. So not all one big bulk of snow in a four hour period, but more so passing in nature. Now that front's going to sweep across southern Colorado by Saturday evening. So this is going to mean Saturday is going to be mostly dry. It's going to be breezy across the area, and then that will come with the chance for some low clouds as we move through Saturday night. You'll be waking up Sunday morning with some very dismal and gray conditions, and then the chance for a few flurries developing just behind this front as we move through Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. Right now, the track of this system there's still some variables that need to be determined that could really change how much snow we end up getting on Sunday. Uh, so for right now, we'd plan on some light accumulations of snow, but more so expecting a big cool down back in the 20s and 30s for highs on Sunday with very gray and uh, dreary conditions to end the weekend and start the beginning of next week. So uh, in terms of future snowfall here, you'll notice we really began with a few snow flurries late tonight through early tomorrow morning for the high country, and then the snow intensity starts to pick up just a bit more by uh, Friday afternoon and Friday evening and then through Sunday we'll start to see more snow across Rocky Mountain National Park areas into Breckenridge receiving a decent two to four inches of snow in a 24 hour period and then for uh, some of the summits or elevations above 12,000 feet uh, we'll get just a bit more snow so that's going to be very beneficial for some of our ski resorts and right now the models are really pointing at some very light spotty accumulations across southern Colorado by Sunday afternoon and by Sunday evening so again Saturday we're still kind of in the warm sector here. It's going to be pretty breezy. Temperatures in the 50s. That front will be parked just to our north. And then it sweeps across the state Saturday night. And then we have the noticeably cooler temperatures by Sunday with a chance for some light snow in the forecast. And you'll notice still a bit unsettled as we move through early next week with steady highs in the 30s for Woodland Park. And overnight lows will be pretty chilly as well. Highs will be in the low 50s for Pueblo on Friday and then even warmer on Saturday with a gusty west wind. And then notice will be cooler by Sunday for all of our zones, including Canyon City. And we keep pretty uh, unsettled conditions in the forecast for early next week with a chance of snow on Monday night and Tuesday morning as well. We'll certainly keep you posted on that, but it's a decent little pattern change for us. Moisture always a great thing considering the current state of the drought across the state. Back to you guys. No question, Mary. Mm -hmm. Thanks. The state of Colorado is fighting fraudulent unemployment.